how to get verified on Instagram. Hi, I'm Alex from SM Marketing. You might recognize me as the squinty-eyed guy from the balcony. No longer we're back in the office, so uh, no more sunburn for a ginger English guy in Barcelona. How to get verified on Instagram. Are you feeling confused about how to get verified on Instagram? There's a simple way to request verification. Let's walk you through how to get the blue badge on this social media platform. The end result of all of this process of getting verified will be more views and more engagement, what everyone wants from this platform. So, the verification process. Before continuing, listen to this key point. It might sound bloody stupid, but make sure that you are logged in to the correct account. Make sure that you're not logged into your personal account, but logged into your business account before you start listening to these steps. Then go through these steps. Tap on the profile pic to arrive at your profile page. In the top right, left is right, but on the screen, let's go like that. Top right. On the top right corner, in the top right corner section of your profile, tap on the menu icon. Look for the settings icon in the bottom right corner, select it and then tap account. Select request verification. The next thing you'll see is a form to fill out. Ugh, paperwork. Add your name and then tap choose file so that you can upload a photograph of your ID. You can use a national identification card or a passport or a driver's license for a personal account. A business account requires something like a utility bill or maybe a tax document that you've recently used. Lastly, tap the send button and this will send your request over. Is that it? No, you're not quite a verified IG influencer as of yet. Instagram moderators need to look over your account and everything you've submitted first. So it's not gonna be instantaneous, the process might actually take a few weeks. Once the few weeks have passed, or once the little time period has passed, whatever, you'll either receive an acceptance or a denial through the, the messaging part of the app. But don't worry, if you get denied, you can try again a month later. Additional tips for Instagram verification. You've got to bear in mind that the majority of the accounts that are requesting verification have a lot of followers or they're a recognisable brand. But this doesn't mean you need an abundance of followers in able to join them. Here on my phone are the official Instagram standards to follow. Be careful to follow the community guidelines set forth by this social media platform. Follow the rules. You can't be a parody account. There must be a real organisation or person behind the account. Me personally, I'm a big fan of The Office and I noticed that Steve Carell doesn't actually have an Instagram account, but I'm following a Steve Carell, so he'll never be authorised, for example. Michael. Nine, I'm Greek. My name is Mykonos. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Michael. Michael. Okay. You need to have some notoriety. Take time to build a brand that's searched for often, uh, generally well known, and has obtained features inside of several news sources. Don't request verification on more than one account per person or business. Complete your profile 100% before making the request. Your account must be public and your request will get denied if you link to other social platforms. Is Instagram verification worth the time? Your goal for verification shouldn't only be about looking cool. There are actually three main reasons why you need to obtain that blue badge. Number one, this process proves to the world that you and your account are newsworthy and trustworthy. It means many independent news sources have provided you with an appearance and that people now want to copy your success. Reason number two, improve your Instagram SEO. The blue check on your account means that you will rank better and rank higher on the IG search results. Essentially, you'll gain an SEO leg up on the accounts that don't have the clout or content to, to actually win in the verification game. Reason number three, keep imposters at bay. Essentially, if someone's searching for you and your brand and they see that you've got the blue tick, they don't need to look anywhere else. They don't have to look at any of the other fake accounts. They know that you are you because you have been verified. So now you should know how to have your account verified. If not, back to the start of the video, go through all of it again, no worries. You will learn it, I've had to learn it too, no problem. 
It's a long old slog, but at the end of the day, you're going to get more views, more engagement, and that's essentially what you're in the game for. So, might as well get that little blue tick and be a happier you. Cheers for watching. Um, remember to subscribe to SM Marketing. Uh, remember to give us a like, give us a comment. You know, uh, if you've got any queries, visit us at theagency.io, and we'll get back to you ASAP. I've been Alex. If I had a hat, I'd take it off, but I don't. So, cheers for now.